So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Banana Android Tanduk official based on Android 13 for Mi 11 next Redmi K40 the Poco F3. So the prerequisites are you need to have an unlocked bootloader. You have to stay on Mi UI ROM and you have to remove your password and security. You have to remove your Google accounts and you have to remove your Mi account. Once all of them are done, you need to have TWI pre-installed and then you need to have the Banana Android Tanduk official ROM zip. You can either download the one without G apps or the one with G apps and I currently have the one with G apps and you should also have the firmware part in your phone which is the 13.0.9 EEA so now let's boot into DWRB by powering off our phone and then let's press the power, power button and the volume up button so well once your recovery is booted we can head into wipe advanced wipe select the dialy card cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done, we can go back, go to install, and then select the firmware part and uncheck automatically deflash EWRP, and then swipe to confirm flash. Well, once that is done, we can go back, we can go to install and then select the banana Android ROM, and then check automatically deflash EWRP, and then swipe to confirm flash. So, well, once the ROM is flashed, we can check for errors. Once there are no errors, these failed to mount errors can be ignored and also our recovery has been flashed successfully. Now we can go back, we can go to reboot and then click on recovery. So well, once your recovery is booted, we can head into wipe for our data and then type in yes. This will result in wiping out all your data. Once format data is successful, we can click on reboot system. So well, the ROM is booted. So let's first do the initial setup. We have a cool wallpaper and then first let's put the phone to 120Hz. And well the ROM is pretty smooth. Now let's go check the camera app right now. Well we have the MI stock camera that's pretty nice. Under, for, under video we have all these options and we have photos, we have 48 MP, this is just a stock camera and this is a customized camera of the MIY one. So well we have a good camera and then now we also have Dolby Atmos pre-installed, that's pretty nice. And we do have the game space, so that is nice. So this is how the about phone looks like, that's nice. And the version I've installed is with the apps. And the Android version is 13. And the kernel version they're using is no kernel. Now let's straight away head into the banana gear. Under that, under status bar we have Status bar icons, we can choose which should stay and which should go. And under logo, we can display a customized logo, the banana droid symbol. And then we have some options. Under battery, we can choose where the percentage should be. Battery style, we can change it to anything we wish. And then battery percentage and charging. And that is it. Under quick settings, we have a high QS and secure lock screen, battery style. Under uh, buttons and navigations, we have end call. You can end the call by pressing the power button, long touch for touch. Under power menu, we, can, we have advanced reboot options. Uh, under advanced, we have bootloader, recovery, and system UI. So that's nice. And we, have, we can also add screenshot flashlight settings. Some options, let me just show you. Yeah, like this we have the pixel animation and under notifications we have four stop button toast tap icon noisy notifications clear all notifications button and under lock screen we have lock screen charging info so the time left 
the amperes and the voltage and other settings will be shown in the ambient display while the phone is being charged. We have fingerprint authentication, error vibration, ripple effect and animations turn on and off. Under locks, under uh, ambient display, we can first turn on the ambient display. Well, this is how the ambient display looks like. And then we can we have it lightning, show always, show on AD, AOD. Then we have music records, it shows the music record on the ambient display during track change. And it always shows time and enforce and it wakes screen for notifications. Under themes we have settings, dashboard, enables, okay we need to restart for that. UI styles we have clear theme, let me just show you something. And we'll we have a lot of options in this. It takes some time to just come and that yeah, and well, that's nice. Oh, this one is pretty nice. So well, this one is pretty nice. Oh, there's a lot of customization in this ROM. Well, now let's head back into miscellaneous. Under miscellaneous, we have full screen apps, smart pixels. It shut down a few pixels to reduce the display. As you can see, the phone is dim right now. Let me just turn it off and it's bright. And now ignore Windows secure like flags. We have the Android P animation styles and wake up on charge. So, and we also have the charging animation. We're gonna get a pretty good animation when the phone is being charged. We have FPS spoofing in games. So we can get 120 FPS in games like Clash of Clans and 90 FPS in BGMI. We have pocket detection, block screen and button inputs when devices in pocket. We also have unlimited uh, Google storage photos. So we're gonna get unlimited like up to 100 GB or something in Google uh, photo storage. We also have Netflix spoof. Spoof your device as different models for Netflix. And we have a game space as I already told you in the starting of the video. We have under call, auto answer, auto reject. Under, we have blocks, full screen events. We have lock gestures. Disable auto brightness, disable swipe to screenshot, disable USB debugging, we can add few games. And under pulse is nothing but it just shows the graph of your music being played. You have a lot of options right here. Under weather settings we have weather services, launcher weather we can we have so many customization right here. And now under widgets. We have some pretty cool widgets right here. We have the settings service, settings, and a few more Android as Easter eggs. These widgets can be added separately. We also have the camera widgets for like Ishia filters and pro senses. Well, this is how the decent apps looks like. And we have the screenshot option and then clear all. And now let's straight away head into the Geekbench 6 test on this ROM. So well, here we have the results, a single code of 1057 and a multi code of 3044. So that's pretty nice. Now let's straight away head into the CPU throttling test. So well, restarting we have graph till 100% to 100% and 90%. But then in the end it falls to 80%. That's still pretty good. And we have a max of 217, 710, and a minimum of 168 and 942. And that is pretty good. And the maximum clock speed is uh, 2.45 GHz. And that is all for this video. If this video helped you on how to install Banana Android, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.